Jeremy here for Common Collected. Today I'm excited because I have the new Hot Wheels RC. This time it's a 2020 Corvette C8. This one's a little different than the previous model, so let's open it up. We'll see how it works, and then the fun part is try it out. Let's open it up. So we get the instructions, our little ramp to connect to Hot Wheels track. We have a USB charger this time for the car. Two little right turns on the back here and the controller will drop out. The car itself. If you're familiar with the first few Hot Wheels RCs, you'll notice this time around we have a much smaller controller. The old ones had a little charge port that was hidden in this compartment and then the AA batteries themselves charge the car. This time around on the little controller, there is no little trap door and a charge port. The USB cable plugs directly into the car. And the other end is a regular USB, which you can use with your cell phone charging block to uh, plug it into the wall. While it's charging, let's put our batteries in the back of the controller. Pretty simple controls on the controller. We just have forward and reverse left and right this is a boost button here's the sync button to sync with the car once it's charged and turned on there's a power indicator light that it's synced and these two little buttons are to adjust the steering if the car doesn't go straight when forward now that the corvette is charged let's try it out so we'll disconnect the charge cable turn the car to on then we'll press the sync button on the controller when it lights solid, we know we're synced and we could test it by hitting one of the buttons. It's a little difficult to steer at slow speeds or in a small space like my table here. If you have hard floors, it does steer a lot easier at higher speeds. It doesn't steer like a normal car where the front wheels rotate. The back wheels spin in opposite directions as tank steering, so that's why when you press the right joystick hard, it will just do donuts. Let's get this Corvette on some Hot Wheels track and really test it out. Here I made a basic closed circuit loop out of some Hot Wheels straight orange track and some 90 degree curves that I got at Dollar Tree. The curve pieces are surprisingly good at keeping the car on the track, but still you don't want to go too fast. Because the controller does have variable speed, I can push the left thumbstick forward, but just carefully to keep it from going too fast. Here I can even make it go through backwards. Whoa, did you see that? The Corvette just randomly changed direction in the middle of the track. Let's see that again. Oh, that's like a stunt from a movie. Let's make our layout a little bit more difficult by adding two loops. Even though we want to go a little bit faster to make it through the loop, we still need to be careful not to go too fast through those corners. If I keep going clockwise, I should be able to build a little speed right before I hit the loop, but then have plenty of time to slow down before the next corner. If I add the boost right as I'm hitting the loop, that should take care of it. So I can make it through the circuit pretty easily if I can just make sure not to go too fast on the corners and add the boost right before I hit the loops. I also did this layout with the new Buzz Lightyear RC and it had trouble accomplishing it at all. So if with the Corvette I could do it successfully many times over and over, this RC definitely is better. Now let's do something a little different. Here's a layout I made with pieces from the Crash Racers figure 8 set. The Corvette has no trouble staying on the track. And this is with the boost. Let's see it in reverse. Oh, another direction change by the Corvette. Now let's put the C8 up against the Cybertruck and see who's faster. Oh, the C8 must have bumped the Cybertruck off the track there. Now that they're both running smoothly, the Corvette is increasing its lead and it takes the Cybertruck out again. Let's race them again, but this time with the boost. Cybertruck has a little trouble on the start, but now they're both going and the Corvette wipes himself out. Wow. Let's joust them this time in opposite directions. Yikes. Oh, wow, evenly matched. 
and in reverse the Corvette knocks the Cybertruck off the track and does a couple victory laps. Let's see how they joust with the boost mode. Oh, like a NASCAR, the Corvette just kept his nose down and the Cybertruck popped off the track. And the Corvette just doing victory laps at this point. Let's add Buzz Lightyear and race all three. The Corvette had no trouble getting around Buzz Lightyear and now Buzz is out. I think the Corvette had bumped him. The Corvette had caught up to the Cybertruck and now they're just winding down. We have product links in the descriptions for a lot of these cars and the different track sets that I pulled pieces from to make these layouts. We also have a lot more videos about various Hot Wheels RC cars. Thanks for watching Common Collected. We'll see you in the next video.